Hi, and welcome to your 12th iOS programming tutorial. And today, we are going to be looking at UI Activity View Controllers, or Share Sheets. So, what is a UI Activity View Controller? Well, it's what it's the thing that you see uh, in the iOS simulator. You'll probably remember it from apps like uh, Images, or Gallery, uh, Safari, and many others, where you press a button and you can share text, images, links, to a whole lot of built-in iOS services like mail, messaging, Twitter, Facebook, print them, add to reading list, and so on. And this is what we're going to create today. It's surprisingly easy, and in fact, you don't even need to import a social UI kit or uh, set up any advanced code. It only takes about five lines of code to set this up and enables you to share anything to your favorite social networks. The, before we get started coding, I suggest you go into your iOS simulator, open up the settings application, and set up a Twitter and Facebook account. This makes it a lot easier for testing purposes. If you don't set up a Twitter and Facebook account, when you try and share something, you'll only be able to share it to mail, since the iOS simulator doesn't support messaging, or Cena Weibo, or a whole lot of other services. So, before we continue, make sure you have set up Facebook and Twitter. Now, let's go into Xcode and start coding this application. Create a new Xcode project, and I'm just going to create a single view application and call it Activity View Controller. Make sure the device is set to iPhone, or you can do a universal or iPad application if you'd prefer. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just doing iPhone. I'm going to be using storyboards, but again, that is up to you. But make sure you are using automatic reference counting and including unit tests. Then click Next and create your project. We'll begin in our storyboard, and let's begin by dragging in a button. This will just be the button that displays the share sheet or action sheet. I'm just going to call it Show Social. You can uh, title your button whatever you want. Do make sure you try and spell it correctly though. Okay, now go into your assistant editor by clicking on the tuxedo icon in the top right corner. Make sure you have it set to automatic so you can see your view controller.h. Then right click and con or control click on your show social button and drag it in between the at interface and at end lines in your view controller.h. Make sure the connection is set to action. The name will just call so show activity view. Type ID, event touch up inside, and argument sender, and then click connect. Now we can go into our view controller.m and start adding the code to show our activity view controller. So let's go back into our single editor, and then inside our IB action, let's start putting the code. I'll explain it at the end. For now, let's just quickly add in the code. So begin by typing ns string asterisk uh, share text equals at talking mark the text I am sharing. Close talking marks and add a semicolon. Then type ns array and we'll call this items to share equals at and then you need to do something different which is a uh, square bracket and then share text and then close square bracket and add a semicolon. You'll notice the at and the square brackets go blue. Then type UI activity view controller and we'll call this activity VC equals you uh, open two square brackets UI activity view controller alloc and then close the first set of square brackets and then type in it with activity items and select the first one and for the NS array insert our array which is items to share and for the application activities type nil then close that square bracket then we need to actually uh, exclude some activity items if we want. So then do activity vc dot excluded activity types equals at square bracket square bracket semicolon. And then type square bracket self present uh, modal view or present view controller and we'll do this really long one, the one that doesn't have the red line through it. For the UI view controller type activity vc for animated, type yes, and for completion, type nil. Then close the square bracket, 
and add a semicolon. So let me now explain what this code does and then we'll run the application and see if it works. The first thing we're doing is creating an NS string or text and that's the text that will be shown when we share. So if we share to Facebook, the text we will share, the thing we will share to Facebook will be this text. So then we've got an array and these are the things that we're going to share. So we're only going to be sharing this text. If, for example, I wanted to share uh, an image and text, I'd create an NS string for the text and then a UI image and then I'd inside this array also have the image. Then we're creating our activity view controller, which is the actual pop-up or action view or share sheet that shows all the various social options and that's actually a subclass of view controller, meaning it's actually another view. So you'll notice that in your storyboard, this is a view and what the share sheet does is it actually overlays another view. Then we're setting the excluded activity types and I'll come back to this after we've run the application so it's more clear what this does. So just leave that for now. Then we're actually showing our view and our view is the activity view. Let's run the application and see if it works. So click run and wait for the application to build. You should have no errors. Then click on show social and as you can see, all the social options come up. If you don't see all of the exact same social options, it might be because, for example, you haven't set up Twitter. If you didn't set up Twitter in the settings application on your iOS simulator, it won't display Twitter. Or if your iOS simulator is having some problems, mail might not show as an icon. There's a few inconsistencies, but don't worry about that because if you run the application on a real device, it will show the same social uh, activities as you have set up on your device. Let's try clicking on Facebook, for example. Here, we've got the text I'm sharing, which is the text we have set it to share. I can then just click Post, and that will post to Facebook. I could also send an email, or do a whole lot more like that. As you can see, it's a lot easier than setting up a Mail Compose View Controller, or sharing things to Facebook. If, say, you only wanted uh, Facebook and Twitter to appear, we would type here, UI Activity type and then uh, Weibo or uh, post to Weibo to get rid of Cena Weibo comma UI activity types and let's get rid of copy so UI activity ac uh, activity type and then once you've got type ahead you can see all the various possible activities that might appear so we could have assign to contact or copy to pasteboard or copy to clipboard. That did appear and we don't want that to appear so let's insert that. And let's also show UI activity type and uh, we'll set type mail which is email. So that's essentially going even if they've got Cena Weibo set up on their phone or even if they've got mail set up on their phone don't show it in the activity view. If we run the application now you'll see that only Facebook and Twitter will appear. As you can see they do. If I wanted mail to appear I could delete from the excluded activities UI activity mail. If I run it now you'll see uh, Facebook, Twitter and mail. As you can see I do. And I can still share to all the services that I could before. So that's a really simple way to share to your favorite social networks email messages or message via SMS messages without having to set up individual social network accounts and set up mail, view, con compose controllers, and a whole lot of other complex code. It saves you a lot of time and effort and is really useful in applications such as web browsers or other applications where you want to enable basic social features. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, visit our website 99centsappdevelopment.com and then go to the Get In Touch page or mes message us directly through YouTube, visit our Facebook page or comment on this video. All the links are in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another iOS programming tutorial.